the American Express Skybox. We're interviewing the biggest names in fashion all week and taking your questions at amexskyboxreport.com. Now I'm here with Miss Amanda Brooks, the fashion director for Barney's. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who are some of your personal favorite designers at the moment? Who are you wearing a lot of or most excited by? Um, I'm really excited for Joseph Altazaro, which is tonight. Um, it's a designer that uh, we're really invested in and who's up and coming. Um, he participated in the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund last year, and I, I love his clothes. I absolutely love his clothes. You know, I love um, Alexander Wang and uh, Rag and Bone is great. We saw their show last night. Huge fan of Prawns a School. I wear that a lot. Um, Derek Lamb. It's exciting. So that's kind of what's on the young American front. When we see all of these different shows and all of these amazing new emerging designers, what is it that really excites you about this industry? I think this week what I've noticed even more than before is just how much effort goes into a show. It's very personal and it takes a lot to put it together. It's all contextual too. It's all about you know, what happens this season as opposed to what happened last season? Are we continuing a trend? Is it the diametric opposite? We had so much minimalism before and now I've heard Baroque twice this week already. And then talking about style, what is it that we're seeing come out of this fall winter collection? I've seen a lot of pleated skirts. I've seen a lot of lace, which we also um, have a lot of in store on the floor at so Barney's that's right now. a continuing trend. That would be a good investment piece for yes, this season, let's yes. say. Yes, There's a lot of lace in store right now, and there's a lot of lace on the runway so far. I'm seeing some beautiful colors, though, aren't we? Yeah. Emerging, I'm seeing a lot. For fall, and... I'm seeing a lot of fringe. Fringe. Yeah, like fringe knits, like big. I'm seeing a lot of big, chunky knits, like sweaters um, that might have a matching scarf with fringe. Being the style maven that you are, can you talk to us about how we can in interpret some of these looks that we're seeing on the runway into our wardrobe now. Is it a matter of going through and finding the colors that we're seeing or the silhouettes that we're seeing and start I think these really, trends emerging in our own wardrobe? Yeah, I mean, it's just what speaks to you, really. You know, it's it's if you love that belt, but you don't like the dress, well, then you can go buy the belt and find a dress that you like that goes with it. I mean, some people really look to designers to kind of, you know, they'll love a blouse, they'll say, well, what am I wearing with that? And so then you'll need to give them a pan, or you'll need to give them a jacket, or you need to give them a coat, or what's the shoe that goes with it? So it really depends on how you shop and how invested you are in, in the designer's look as opposed to your own personal look. That said, some of the most stylish women I know pride themselves on kind of preserving the integrity of the look as it was intended and wearing the whole look from head to toe. So for me, either way is great as long as it, it expresses you and, and what your taste is. That concludes our interview with Miss Amanda Brooks. Uh, don't forget to visit us at www.amexskyboxreport.com to contribute your questions and tweet us for the opportunity to win two tickets to sit up here in the skybox with us. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda Brooks. Thank you. Thank you.